Hello everyone and welcome. This is Jane from JaneLiberated.com. I am here as usual to add value to your life. Whatever you do today, wherever you go, add value to people's life and your own life will never remain the same. I am here to continue with the series we have been teaching the past week and part four is today. Part four, we are going to be dealing and using a woman from the Bible. Her name was not told, but she was being called the adulterous woman and we are going to be using her as a case study in life no matter what you go through in life no matter what people have called you it is not the time to quit at the verge of your breakthrough like this woman in the bible the, the story is taken from the book of john 8 1 to 11 she was a woman that was caught in the very act of adultery and she was being dragged out by the people she was being molested she was being humiliated they brought her before jesus and they accused her of being caught in the very act of adultery and what baffles me is she was caught with a man but she end up suffering the uh, the, the consequences of that action we are women we are being told that we cannot do anything we are being criticized more if we do something wrong i am here to advise and encourage you today no matter the situation is it in that marriage is it in that uh, child giving is it in that relationship is it in that business in your career in your calling i am here to sincerely advise you today that you should not quit at the verge of your breakthrough this woman was brought to jesus they accused her and Jesus knew the thought of those men and because they were asked not only to accuse the woman alone or to, to stone her to death according to the law of Moses they were also asked to accuse Jesus people just ask you questions people can tell you anything just to push you to the wall just to get your reaction just to know what to say and when you say something and react you will be the very one to be set up you will be the very one one to be called names that is why i have come today to advise you and to let you know this woman in the bible her name was not mentioned she was being referred to by her mistakes she was being referred to by her past life people can call you names one thing is certain when you made up your mind not to quit when you made up your mind irrespective of the past life you have lived irrespective of the name they have called you if you made up your mind to succeed the maker of heaven and earth will stand by you all the days of your life and the, he will make sure that you succeed in life. The woman was brought to Jesus and Jesus looked up and just bent down and begin to write on the ground with his own finger. And he asked them, if you know any of you standing here with the stones to kill this woman, to condemn her, if you know you are not guilty of any sin at all, be the very first one to throw that stone. Lo and behold, my fellow brothers and sisters, everyone from the biggest to the smallest dropped their stones and begin to walk away. That is why I have come today that people who judge you, people who condemn you, people who call you names, they themselves are are not uh, free they are not perfect but one thing is certain people are there to say whatever they want to say but it is left for you to hold on to the garment of jesus to hold on to that faith because he said come to me and i will give you rest come to me if you have any problems come to me if you are stressed out come to me if you are depressed come to me if you know that because of your past life you cannot move forward or you are scared to ask because of what people will say Say, come to me and I will give you rest. Trust me. Uh, put your hope on me. Put your faith on me because God is the only one that can really take you through that process in life, through that uh, path in life that will lead you to your final destination. And I am here to give you five points. And I put them down to really help and motivate you not to give up at the verge of your breakthrough. One is people can push you too far just to tempt you, just to see your reaction. But my advice to you is don't give up. Don't listen to them. Keep on going. And when you have Jesus in your life, there is absolutely nothing you cannot do. And number two is sometimes confuse them with, uh, with your silence. You see that Jesus was 
was quiet as if he did not even hear what they are saying. He went down and wrote something on the ground. Most of times, whatever you pass through, whatever they have called you, go into your closet, ask for forgiveness, confess your sin to the maker of heaven and earth, change your lives. By the time you come out, people will be surprised. How come? How did she do it? How come she is no longer the same person? Why? Because you decide to confuse them, to confuse them with your silence while you go into your closet and renew your mind and renew your character and renew your vision and begin to live a peaceful life, begin to go away from that sin that used to weigh you down. People will be surprised that you become a new person. And number three is those that judge you, they are not perfect either. When you hear the story of this woman, Jesus told them, if you know you have not seen at all, throw the stone. All of them left, of course, because nobody is perfect. All of us are running a race until we get to the finish line and the prize is being given to us. We don't have right to judge anyone. We don't have right to condemn anyone. I am not saying that you should go deliberately sinning or something like that. No, consciously know what you want focus and stay away from things that will tarnish your image that will that will make people to begin to point fingers at you when you change your own way when you change the way you behave people will also see that you have changed from that person to a new person and another one is no matter how people pushed you in life Sometimes people throw questions at you. People ask some kind of question that you cannot even know uh, how to answer or something like that. But just to irritate you, I am here to advise you today. Just keep silent. Answer them with respect or leave them alone and continue to move forward. Because why? You know where you are going. You know your vision. You know what you want to become and achieve in life. Stay focused. Let the distractions fall by the wayside and run your run. Run your race with all um, uh, anxiousness. With all, um, no, anxiousness is not the word. Run your race uh, with all manner of speed and with all respect and diligently that you may win that prize. You may win that uh, uh, medal, gold medal, anything at all because you have decided to focus on where you are going. Another one is, like I said before, go in the presence of God. Confess your sin. Be yourself. And when you do this, you will see, you will begin to have the power to fight against that sin. It is in the mind. It is the battle of the mind. When you are able to overcome that negative thought, that thought will come. But the ability to overcome it is when you know you are on the right path. I have succeeded, I am sure, adding value to your life today. And I hope you will do the same thing by sharing this video. Like and comment. And please, if you are new to this channel, do subscribe and click on the notification bell. Follow me all, uh, on all my social uh, media platforms and I will be honored to connect with you. I also have a private Facebook group where we call um, on, on women that we should come together to become what God has ordained us to be. It is called the Women of Destiny. If you are interested, leave your comments below. Connect with me on Facebook and I will be honored to uh, um, welcome you with the love of Christ. Remember, whatever you do, stay focused. Don't give up at the verge of your breakthrough. No matter what people have called you, stay focused. God loves you. I am your sister in Christ and I will come back with the part five of the video and that will be the final version. Have a fantastic day. God bless you. Bye.